Hi everybody, welcome to Tanya and Tiana English. English. Today we have an ESL listening practice about puzzles, games, and books. So as we are filming this right at this moment, we have been put on lockdown or stay at home order for the coronavirus epidemic or pandemic, I guess mm -hmm. what is what they're calling it. Um, so we thought we would share with you some of the things we love to do when we have to stay at home. Yeah. But these are things you could do anytime you're bored or you just need to be at home for some other reason. And also you might just want to listen to this for new English phrases and vocabulary words. So if there are any phrases or vocabulary that we say while we go along, Put those down in the comments and we will help you to understand them. If you're excited about learning more English with us today, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more lessons. Let's get started. So my mom and I both picked some things to share with you all. And the first thing that I picked was this puzzle that we got um, from our library. And it has lots of, I think it's upside down, oh. <laughs> lots of things in the kitchen. So lots of things you can see in this picture are things from the kitchen. And yeah, we haven't started it yet, but it does look really fun. <laughs> and this is like a table puzzles, a puzzle with lots of little pieces that you could put together. But Tan and I also like doing other types of puzzles. Like um, we love doing together as a family with the rest of our family crossword puzzles. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. we've done that when we're traveling in the car and we're all in the car. Mm -hmm. And one person writes the words in. A crossword puzzle is usually in a book and it has like a clue or a definition and you have to put the, the, the word in. Mm -hmm. um, I especially love doing these also in the language that I'm learning. So you might want to look for crossword puzzles in English. It's a good vocabulary exercise. <laughs> yes. But I also chose a table puzzle with lots of little pieces from our local library. And this one has lots of different types of matchbooks. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just put it in front of Tiana's face. <laughs> um, so matches are like this. A ma match books. We call this a book of matches. Actually, books typically um, open up kind of like a book. This is a box of matches. Um, and I liked this puzzle because here's what a current box of matches looks like here in the United States. But these are all historical. So what I mean is like old boxes of matches. So they're kind of interesting. Um, and they have a lot of English words on them. And personally, I think puzzles like this that have the little pieces are easier to do if there's words in yeah. the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the other reason I picked it is currently Tiana and I need to use matches. That's why we have this box of matches. We need to use matches to light our stove, which mm -hmm. is really important because while we're on lockdown here at home, and what we mean by lockdown is we're ordered by our government to stay at home, Mm -hmm. Um, it's cold here. Yeah. <laughs> it's snowing outside, or actually today the snow is not, it's not snowing, the snow is still on the trees and things, but, um, mm -hmm. so we, we like it that we have a stove. Yes. <laughs> which brings me to one of the other things I wanted to share, which is a little extra, um, but it's a, something I'm crocheting. I'm making myself a hat because I forgot a hat to bring, so it's gonna go like that, but hopefully it'll look better when it's done. <laughs> and I'm knitting, which, bring your crochet foot hook back up. I'm knitting mm -hmm. just a little, a little washcloth out of cotton yarn. Knitting is with two needles, mm -hmm. and crocheting is with one hook. So they're a little different. We both like to knit and crochet. Yeah. I just happen mm -hmm. to be knitting because that's what I chose for this time. So what else do we got? Let's see. Here's a game that I've been playing a lot. We've played it together. Yes. Um, it's called Bananagrams. And it's kind of like 
a game that's very popular here. Well, it's very common called Scrabble and it's a word game and it has all these little tiles with letters on them. Which are inside this banana. Uh-huh. And you have to use all the letters. Um, well, you pick out a bunch of letters and then you have to make words with the ones that you have. So we posted um, a picture of one that I did on Instagram and I'll be talking about some of the vocabulary words I used in that um, on Instagram. So, so go check it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. be sure to follow us there because we're doing a lot of different vocabulary words with this game. And this is a game you could get from Amazon mm -hmm. or other pro other providers. What would you call that? Other retailers as other retailers mm -hmm. other stores mm -hmm. if you can go out to a store or order online for learning English mm -hmm. um, and another game that we've been playing is called blitz and you play it with a deck of cards so we have this deck of cards that we play it's a very fun game for anywhere from two to multiple people like we've mm -hmm. played with seven eight nine ten people but we usually play with two three or four um, and it's a fast moving card game. So if you mm -hmm. would like more information on this card game called Blitz, B-L-I-T-Z, we'll put the name right here, then let us know in the comments and we'll give you some more information on that. And what are some games or card games that you like to play? Share that in the comments so that other people can uh, learn more about that too. Our community of people talking in the comments is a great resource for mm -hmm. learning English. Absolutely. And what was, oh, puzzles. Mm -hmm. Also, if you like to do puzzles, um, the kind that we talked about, or crossword puzzles, Sudoku, what are the kinds of puzzles you like to do, especially for learning English? Yeah. Okay, what else do we got? Let's see, books. Um, because we love books, and we've been reading a lot. I just finished this book, which my mom got me for Christmas. Um, it's called Red at the Bone, and it's by one of my new favorite authors. It was, it was very good. I liked it. Um, and now I'm reading a book that my mom recommended to me, and it's also very good. I'm only that far, so... <laughs> I just started it last night, but it's already really good. It's called Where the Crawdads Sing. And you can see the author there as she holds that book mm -hmm. up. And then I'll hold this one up so you can take a screenshot if you'd like. I finished this actually just a little while ago and Tiana has read it too. Mm -hmm. It's called The Art of Hearing Heartbeats by Jan Philip Syndicker. And I'm getting ready to start the next book. This is a trilogy which means there's three books in the series, three books about the same story. So I highly recommend this book. It is maybe for advanced, um, I would say intermediate advanced students. Um, you absolutely would learn a lot from it, even if you don't understand all of the vocabulary. But also, what are some books that you would recommend for learning English. Yeah. Um, one of the authors that I would recommend is Ollie Richards. He has some great books, especially for, be for I think for all levels, but especially if you're a beginner mm -hmm. or maybe a beginner intermediate, that's a good place to start with Ollie Richards books. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, but let us know the books you have enjoyed using to learn English. Put those in the comments as well as books that you're reading now. One of the books that I am reading, I'm reading it in Spanish, but it was one of the books I loved as a kid and in English, um, was the American Girl Doll series. And they're all about um, girls, I think ages like 10 to 12 mm -hmm. um, in history. So the one I'm reading now is uh, Josefina, and she lives in New Mexico, I think in eight, the 1860s. So, yes, yeah. and I think that that series of books, the American Girl series of books, is an excellent way to learn English for uh, advanced, for beginner th through advanced, really, mm -hmm. and especially beginners and intermediates. Um, even if you are not interested specifically in topics about girls or 12 year old girls, 
it has a lot about history mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. So it has a lot of American history and a lot of interesting things said in a way that you can understand um, even if your English is beginning English. So yeah. I, I recommend that whole series and there's a lot of different ones. Um, mm -hmm. um, any of them I think would be good. One of my favorites was Kit Kitridge from the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorites was Felicity who mm -hmm. lived during the American Revolution, isn't that mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll put uh, those names on the screen so that you can uh, know what those are and we'll mm -hmm. link them down below. Okay, what else do we have? Um, so see. in addition to playing games, reading books, and what else? Doing puzzles. <laughs> We've also been doing some other fun things while we're here at home. Mm -hmm. I've been doing some painting and I painted this saying that my mom has been saying. Um, <laughs> it says, this too shall pass. And I like that because it's kind of reassuring while things are kind of up in the air right now. Yeah, both of us really like to look at inspirational and motivational quotes and things like that mm -hmm. um, when when things are challenging like they are if you are home during this pandemic or even if you were just stuck at home for any other reason yeah um, and that particular quote it comes from a Persian what did I say a Persian parable Persian parable is that what I said I think so. um, back in the 1200s so over eight or proc approximately 800 years ago. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, English sayings, live and let live. Um, I, it's just, for me, it's great for this pandemic we're going through right now when lots of people have differing opinions from each other. In other words, some people think you should do this and other people think you should do that. Um, and this is a great phrase that just, you know, focus on yourself and doing what's best for you and let other people focus on themselves and what's best for them. And you might have to make choices. Uh, if somebody does something you don't agree with, then you might have to make a choice about what you're going to do about that. But I say to my girls all the time, you can't change other people mm -hmm. as much as we would like to. <laughs> so, and, and this is a, a relatively modern phrase, I yeah. would say in English. Um, and I love painting these kinds of phrases because I love, this is an ampersand. Mm -hmm. An ampersand represents the word and. And I don't know, I just like ampersands. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the things that you like to do when you're at home? What kind of hobbies and pastimes do you have that you like, like to do? If there's something that we shared here or maybe something we didn't share, Either way, let us know in the comments below. So if you're interested in more English lessons, YouTube has recommended another video for you right here. And we post videos every Saturday, so be sure to check back. And if you know anyone else who would be interested in learning English, then be sure to share this video with them. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Bye. Bye.